Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to check file exit or not in csr.net. So here this is the code that I already written. So this is by using this code we can easily identify whether file is exit or not in the systems. So let's uh, run the code and check the output here. So this is the part C user on desktop there is so uh, adam.txt. So adam.txt. So if that font uh, then here file font and that display true and here this is the length of the file and uh, read only check and if the file is not found then that go to else part that display a uh, invalid file name now let's uh, understand this code here the first is i'm using system namespace so if i give a comment on the system namespace then directly i'm getting the red mark on console class that means console class that uh, definition comes under system namespace so this system namespace that require now here after if i give comment on system.io namespace then directly i am getting the error mark on file info class that means file info class that comes the definition written inside system.io namespace so these two namespace that require now here after when you debug the code control comes to main method here after that coincide a string str variable that i have taken so this path that is store so this the path and the file name adam txt so here you can see on the desktop adam txt file is there now here after file info object created fi with the help of new file info constructor so if i is the object and here str pass so str has this so that passed and that go to fi fi so if i dot exit so if i adam dot text that exit that means this place that to return true so if for uh, return true then that uh, do if uh, part so here console dot write and file font and there it's so uh, display true now it will display true now long length so here fi dot length so with the help of uh, length so we can easily get the size of the file so get the size byte in the current file and here file size in the byte and alien that display now here after that display the length of file and bool f b1 equal to fi is read only so is read only determined whether get or set value determined the file is read only or not so with the help of is read only so this the bool time and we can easily identify file read only or not and here is read only whatever the value come that go to b1 and b1 or uh, if the value is uh, read only then that true or else false so let's uh, run this code once again and uh, check the output so here it's uh, currently running there is no any problem with the code and uh, here you can see the output so here you can see file font it's returning true and uh, length of this file 753 in the byte and here is read only this is the false now i'm going to make that uh, this on here uh, read only okay so this condition is now read only true so if i execute this time that display true so here you can see true is read only it's a or displaying true now here after the next is if a user give a wrong file name and the file is not exit suppose if i give here adam1 so adam1 is not in the desktop so here uh, this part fi dot exit so this will check there is no any adam1 so this condition is false come to else part here that display a uh, invalid file now run this code and draw uh, check the output and uh, here you can see uh, 
that display a invalid file. So if the file is not exit, then that go to as part and there that to display here a invalid file. Now there is uh, one more thing we can check uh, this with uh, any kind of file name like uh, XML or uh, TXT whatever you like. So let's give uh, XYZ this time giving XML file. Now you can see this is the XML file and if you want to check is this read only not a read only XML file is this one now let's uh, run this code so first uh, that will check if the file is so uh, exit so file is exit so this condition is true then that go inside here or uh, that calculate length and read only property so by using uh, this exit uh, we can easily check uh, whether the file is uh, found or not so I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See next video. Thank you.